This is Orkadowski of WeAreChange.org here in Oceanside, California. I am joined. A liberal zombie infested <laughs> apocalypse wasteland. I am joined by Mark Dice of the Resistance, and obviously there's a lot of Hillary Clinton supporters out here. And I'm wondering, Mark, what is going to happen when we flip Hillary Clinton's policies and her beliefs totally 180 degrees upside down? Will they still support her? I guarantee you the Hillary Clinton supporters will blindly support her no matter what her policies supposedly are. And if we present them with policies completely opposite, I guarantee you they still will support her. Is it Hillary Clinton running for president? Uh, what is it about her conservative values that you uh, agree with? Probably none. Is she a Republican? Yeah. Do you support Hillary Clinton? Not really. I'm more of a, I'm a Democrat, so. So obviously Hillary Clinton, um, if, if Hillary Clinton were a Democrat, would you maybe support her then? Probably. Is it her pro-life stance? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just that she's a woman is really she's all that a woman. we need. All we need women in the That's world. Right. You know? Who cares what her policies exactly. are? Exactly. Right? Okay. Well, thank you. But I think it'll be a great thing for us as women, you know, because we have much to say, and um, our voice needs to be as heard as well. And we're very compassionate about the country as well, too. Which conservative values of hers you support for her to be put into the White House? Um. I haven't, I haven't really followed up on her a lot, <laughs> to be honest. But she would be the best candidate, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Just because she's a woman, we need a change. Yeah. Do you like that Hillary Clinton is very transparent and she actually released all her emails to Congress so they could see what she did as Secretary of State? Yeah, I think that shows how much dedication she has for her work. I think that's amazing. I really do. I mean, you know, as far as, I mean, she's being transparent in a lot of areas, so, I mean, it's like she has nothing to hide, mm -hmm. you know, so, I mean, I agree with what she's doing. And everyone knows that communication is the key to everything. Mm -hmm. Proper communication and the, uh, the back and forth, it gets a lot of things done. Communication is the key. Yeah, if you have nothing to hide and you're doing everything right, you know, of course, it makes perfect, perfect sense. Um, just that she's truthful, you know? Very honest woman. Honest, yes. Full transparency with the emails, servers. Yeah. Um, she also made a very strong stance saying she's not going to take any money from any foreign government to influence her political decision. Do you think that's good? I think that's good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that's good because they wouldn't have much control over her, you know, in the decision she made. Have you heard the news of Margaret Sanger, this very strong female, becoming her vice presidential I candidate? Have. Yeah. Yes, I have. What do you think about these two strong women running uh, for the 2016 election? I say more power to them. Yeah. Yeah. Why not, right? Yeah. Do you like the pro-life stance that they both have? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. All right. So, so probably Sanger and, and Hillary. Well, it, it is. Unfortunately, there are certain issues. Women's rights are very important to me. Yeah. And usually the GOP doesn't quite quite go that way. Yeah, she's, she's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like her very much. So are you going to be voting Hillary Clinton and Margaret Sanger in 2016? Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm going to be voting. Hillary Clinton, as you probably saw, has chosen Jackie Kennedy Onassis to run as her VP for vice president. Is that a good choice for President Hillary? Yes. Jackie Kennedy Onassis as her v vice president? Yeah. The two of them have some pretty good insight into the political world and could, could help the New World Order, I guess? Yeah. I agree. How do, how do you feel about Hillary Clinton's support of Edward Snowden? Pretty good, kind gesture on her part, wouldn't you agree? She's taking a stand. She isn't sitting on the fence. That's right. Some, uh, some other politicians obviously Correct. have called Edward Snowden a traitor. Hillary Clinton, very brave to call him an American hero. That's pretty, pretty, pretty well, powerful uh, stance, wouldn't you agree? Yes. You can't call somebody a traitor because they got a political view. Yeah. All right. we, yeah, we really don't watch a lot That's of TV. Okay. We are, um, we stay busy. So this, we are here for um, a vacation. Okay. So. But you're voting for Hillary. We are voting for Hillary. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yes. Beautiful. I'm not, I've never been political. I'm not really religious. Who cares who runs America these <laughs> yeah. days, right? Yeah, it just it doesn't matter. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. Okay. Luke is coaching me on my first confrontation with the senator. 
just so happens that Senator Barbara Boxer from my See, see, this is where I disagree with you, Mark, because I, I like to give people some chances, some, some hope at least in them, but that they're not zombies and they're not that stupid. I disagree with you. I don't think we should call them zombies. So I want to challenge you to a game, a very serious game. Ten people, one question each. If they get them all wrong, 